Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this world. Uh, I'm going to take a quick little walk through the mall. This was happened to be right before Christmas, a few days, and it was before noon, so it looked really deserted. I, I stopped, I had to get some stuff, I stopped and had some coffee, and I, in the afternoon things picked up quite a bit. Uh, people coming to the mall, the restaurants uh, became full, Was would be very difficult to find a place to sit. Uh, the grocery store was very busy. These are ukuleles. There's a company uh, here in Cebu that makes these ukuleles. I bought my girlfriend one of these uh, a couple of years ago, I think for her birthday. About 3,000 pesos, I believe, the one that I bought. They've, they've got some uh right around two and three and on up up the scale different types with different sounds interesting place I bought one, uh, last year from this kiosk is on the lower floor uh not so far from uh the metro uh, grocery store i believe and yeah even a bunch of different colors and uh anyway there are definitely a lot more foreigners in town might pick one up uh, for their trip, learn how to play it, or if they know how to play it. Her father, my girlfriend's father, plays it real well, has for, for many, many years. He can pick one up and do a pretty good job with one. Uh, but you know, a mall is a mall is a mall, uh, just like all over the world. And uh, it's uh, you, you got your jewelry stores. And uh, one nice thing about the Philippines, almost all malls have a grocery store, a grocery store and a hardware store something that uh, I think is very uncommon in the United States, for instance, or divided states as they seem to be becoming these days. That is one of many reasons I hear uh, many of the expats uh, coming from America, from Canada, and moving to the Philippines. Some are going to Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, whatever. Philippines has uh, many advantages. Uh, over those countries, in my opinion, you know, I do want to. Uh, I visited Vietnam. I want to visit uh, Thailand. I've got met several friends who go to Thailand regularly and then come to the Philippines. And you know, there's pros and cons either way. Anyway, I'm going to take you on a, a walk. I didn't take a whole lot of video here in the mall. And this is walking away from Ayala Mall. I'm down on uh, what's called Gorodo, Gorodo Avenue, and. Uh, I'm headed back towards the uptown area, and there you got the Quest Hotel up that way, and some of the uh, Cebu Business Park. That's actually the Red Planet Hotel, there, right there in the middle there. A uh, little bit cheaper, really small rooms, I think, if I remember correctly. And you got a number of hotels in this this area where where uh, Ayala Mall is. Cebu Business Park is owned and managed by Ayala. They've got their own police force, security force there, and they can actually issue tickets, my understanding. And you'll find that in IT Park, too. They have their own uh, security force, police force. And, uh, you know, thinking back, I've three trips to the Philippines and, and about eight years, a little over eight years now here in Cebu City primarily, and just thinking about uh, all the changes that I've seen, a lot of these high-rises weren't here uh, six, seven, eight years ago. Uh, some of the older, taller hotels were, but uh, the condos, office buildings, commercial buildings, uh, they've, they've just popped up uh, very, very quickly in the last six, seven, eight years. And there are a lot more condo developments going to open up in the next year or two or three, bringing thousands and thousands more units online. So we'll see how this recovery goes. Anyway, I'm making this video on Christmas Day here in the Philippines. Uh, about noon, actually. It's, I, I did a little uh, YouTube short, I think they call it, uh, this morning. A cloudy, cloudy day out there. And doesn't mean it's going to rain, but it has been raining for about the last hour here in Cebu City. And uh, me and my girlfriend friend had originally uh, planned on going over to her family over on Lapu Lapu, having Christmas dinner and that sort of thing over there. But uh, like can, can happen very quickly on short notice, plans changed. And now everybody's coming over to my condo, it appears. So it's going to be one packed, 
one bedroom condo trying to stir up enough chairs for everybody to sit on I've got a couch and I think I've got got enough seating places for nine or ten people if I stretch it if they squeeze in like they do jeepneys girlfriend is working half the day so she tells me she ordered uh, some food to be delivered here not sure what that's gonna cost me yet that could be my Christmas surprise <laughs> Anyway, looking forward to some good uh, fellowship. I got a, a British friend down the hallway, invited him over. And uh, so, be a good Christmas. You know, Christmas is a good time to get together with family and friends. But, tell you the truth, I'm happy when it's all over with and uh, things return somewhat back to normal. Uh, many of you know, about three months ago, I I was walking at night down in downtown area and uh, Dark Street. I fell fast and hard. I dislocated my shoulder and and shattered it a bit. Uh, the doctor said when we got there uh, a few days later, after he looked at the X-rays, he, he said uh, it, it was broken a lot more than the X-rays showed. Uh, so a thousand dollars worth of titanium we put it back together as best we could he said put it in this sling and don't move it through for three months well it's been about three months so here in a couple of weeks I'm actually going to go back and see the surgeon see what he thinks about rehab I have started on my own uh, a little movement uh, I've got a four pound weight and every couple of days I'll I'll do some a little bit of strength training with it and I can get a little bit more movement. Uh, he told me that uh, originally he said uh, 80 to 90 percent mobility is a goal when we get these kind of things. Uh, I guess, uh, you know, I tried to be optimistic, but I, uh, realistic too. And not sure if it's going to get to that point. This is, this is Gerardo. That, that street I was on was not Gerardo. We are in the climate pattern called uh, Southeast Monsoons and uh, in English. And that means that we usually get winds from the northeast, from the, from the east, so they come across the Pacific or come, come down from the north, out of China, Siberia, part of Russia, Japan, and that can cool it off a little bit. And uh, we're also in a, a climate pattern called El Nino. We were in La Nina for uh, over a year, and now we're in El Nino, which is supposed to be less rain. Uh, we definitely need the rain, and the, some of the dams up by Manila that supply so much water and irrigation uh, are full. In fact, they've had to let some water out, but uh, generally when you're, you think you're going into another drought pattern, you want to save the the water as best you can. Um, when I came in 2015, it was a drought year, 2015. Uh, met an American that had flown here, been here a few times, and he came here in August. And he said, yeah, I want to come back during the rainy season and see what it was like, see if I can handle it. Well, it was, the rainy season was a drought, so it was rather relatively dry. Maybe we'd get rain two, three times a week on average. Uh, so someplace in the world, they would consider that a wet year. But anyway, it was a, a dry year. And 2019 was a drought period. In fact, uh, many areas, even in Cebu and Bahol, other places, their shallow, their shallow wells ran out of water. And uh, people had to wait for water to be delivered, even the condo I'm living in. Uh, then and then uh, after Typhoon Odette, about two years ago exactly, um, the Metropolitan Water District had trouble delivering enough water and uh, the condo units had to purchase it wherever they could get it. Price went up and sometimes you didn't have water for a day or two. Uh, so you have those kind of issues. Wherever you're going to live in the Philippines, water is the most important, obviously, to live. You want to make sure that you have some uh, some security there. Uh, transportation, food, 
Uh, internet, connection to the outside world, all important items. There are risks, there are weather patterns all over the world, wherever you live. Uh, just uh, was talking to my sister back in the north central states, Minnesota, and uh, she said, it's strange, it's foggy and raining a little bit here on Christmas Eve there. And uh, unusual, but yeah, it happens. You know, you get, you get ice storms, you get snow storms, you get dust storms, uh, we get those around the world down in Room Phoenix where I live different years. Room for rent. Um, you know, if you want the cheaper places, walk down the street, walk, walk the areas that you think you might want to live, and there are signs. That's how they advertise a lot of their places. There are signs. This little, little, little street goes between uh, Cebu Business District area and Secor Hospital. And gosh, I think I counted uh, three or four different little pharmacies down here. No sidewalk, no sidewalk. So you're you're sharing the road with uh, whoever's coming down there with their big vehicles. There's there's another road going out of that Secor Hospital area. And but a lot of people they they don't want to go that direction. They want to go this direction. I am using a GoPro 9 Black, and I've had it for several years. They're, they've had the, the 10, the 11, and the 12 are out now, and uh, mine is pretty well beat up. It's not, no longer waterproof, uh, so, but it still takes good video, very well uh, image stabilization. Uh, GoPros, all of them, I, I think I've got four different GoPros over the many, many years, they all have this this weakness of overheating and uh, my experience is that that often overheats the battery as well and then the battery swells and then your battery's no good in fact it gets so difficult even to pull it out of your pull it out of your camera you've got to go and buy a couple new new uh, batteries so I think here uh, maybe in the new year I'll be hunting for a new camera now there's there's a new uh, insta360 um, Ace, uh, two different cameras, Ace and Ace Pro out that have been getting good reviews and a couple not quite as good reviews. Um, you've got DJI has a, a couple of cameras. Uh, the, the one little white one uh, actually costs a lot more than what it should. What are you doing? You're doing tests? What, what, what are you doing? Testing what? Students? Yeah. Ah. So students practicing giving tests on one another. To, you know, I was in this hospital with my, with my shoulder busted up uh, for five days. First two days there was, uh, the, the surgeon wasn't here or they couldn't find enough uh, surgic surgically trained nurses was part of it he, part of the problem he said uh, so I had to wait actually two days uh, before they could uh, get in and and do the surgery uh, but anyway I uh, definitely noticed I asked some of the people trying to take my blood pressure and do different things to me <laughs> that uh, yeah your students I, I can tell you and some were really nervous really really nervous just doing even blood pressure tests and uh, it was interesting watching the process anyway. You will find that many of the doctors in the Philippines work at many different hospitals, several hospitals and several different clinics. And they've got their own office and then they work at other clinics and uh, hospitals. And I asked the surgeon how many surgeries he did a, a week. And he said, well, he, he, he said, uh, the paid ones are the free ones. He does a lot of charity work, he said. He said, yeah, a lot, of these, a lot of these drunk drivers come in here all busted up, and uh, he usually doesn't get paid for any of that stuff. It's uh, whatever they call it. It's, it's charity-type work. And uh, so anyway, you, you know what? You can't just go to a doctor's office and expect him to be there. He might be there 3 in the afternoon on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You never know. You need to check and find out. One thing I've noticed, there are more medical clinics opening up since I was here eight years ago. He had a hard time finding a medical clinic. Everybody told me, sir, you have to go to the hospital if you want to see a doctor. Anyway, 
pretty large hospital as you can see. And uh, this will end this video. Happy holidays. See you next time.